Hey guys, I just wanted to make a short video showing you the features of our newest overflow design. This is our version 2 of the 20 inch with 1 inch strings. We have designed the box to retain all the performance attributes of our original design, but have added further refinements to make the box smaller with better aesthetics and increased functionality. Starting with the rear box, we have retained the most important features of the original overflow. It sits up higher than the internal box and is flush or just a bit higher than the tank. This is key when trying to get an overflow to be quiet. It allows you to run the water level higher in the internal box, keeping it just below the weir, preventing the water from making a lot of noise when entering the overflow. The original design used an acrylic lid made from the same material as the box. The issue with acrylic is that it can absorb tiny amounts of water, causing the lid to bow over time. These new lids are made from polycarbonate and do not absorb water or bow like the acrylic lids would. They are also recessed so that they sit flush with the top of the box. These lids will still be perfectly flat after years and years of service. The rear box is still made from a darkly tinted cast acrylic, so you can still see what the water level is inside. It also blocks light to cut down on any algae growth. The interior box has seen the most design changes and improvements. First, the box has gotten smaller by a quarter of an inch. The width of the internal box is now one and a half inches. We have also begun using a removable front weir that has a built-in lid to make them more visually appealing in a rimless or open top tank. The weir is held securely in place using high quality magnets. We have encapsulated the magnets inside the acrylic using solvent welded clear acrylic caps. We use clear so that we can visually inspect them when assembling and can guarantee a watertight seal. There is also a lip that is laminated to the inside front panel of the box. This gives support to hold the bottom of the weir and prevent any bending, as well as that overall strength to the front panel. Functionally, it prevents the water from draining all the way to the bottom edge of the removable weir. Because the fronts are now removable, we have more options on weir style. We now offer them in both our long horizontal weir slots, as well as the standard comb toothed overflow. The good news is that because they are both interchangeable, you could start with one and if you decide you want to change, all you would have to do is purchase the other style weir and not the entire unit. We are glad to say that we have kept the same hole spacing from our previous model. So if you have one that was made from around 2020 or newer, the new overflow will fit the same holes from the first generation box. If you want to be sure that one of our new boxes will fit the holes for the older box, just measure the inside distance between the two holes on the template. It should be around 2 and 3 quarter inches. If you no longer have the template, you can get a pretty good approximation by measuring the distance between the two bulkheads sticking through the tank into the rear box. Measure the distance between them from the outer threads, not the edge of the net. We had a few design decisions that we needed to make. The first was to decide between a removable weir or having the ability to remove the entire front box. From our perspectives, making the entire box removable was easier for us to construct versus having a two-piece box. However, three points led us to deciding to create the removable front weir. First, we have heard of the pull-off type front boxes having issues with water leaking past the o-ring allowing water to flow to the back box. The leak is very slow and under normal operations doesn't matter. However, during a prolonged return pump outage, the water can drain into the rear box and down to the sump. Over several hours or even days, the water level could drop several inches, overflowing the sump and causing a spill. I don't think this is a major issue, but was something that would need to be considered when designing your sump and its water capacity. Secondly, with the removable front box, you can only pull it off and clean it when doing water changes. If you were to pull the box off with the display still full, the water would rush into the bulkheads and drain 4-5 to five inches of water out of the display and into the sump. So to remove it, you would need to drain the main display to the bottom of the overflow box to clean it. With a removable front weir, you can just turn the pump off, pull the weir, clean it for a few minutes, and then reinstall it and fire the pump back up. While the idea of being able to remove the entire front box is appealing, we thought that these downsides outweighed the benefits. We have spent a lot of time testing and tuning these overflows to give the best combination of form, function, and appearance. We really feel that we have the best overall overflow on the market. As before, our overflows are hand constructed in Texas, made from quality cell cast acrylic. At the release of this video, we are only producing the 20 inch with 1 inch drains. But over the coming weeks and months, we hope to release a 16 and 32 with 1 inch drains, as well as a 32 and 40 with 1 and a half inch drains all available with both horizontal and tubed overflow options. As always, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to shoot us an email.